Hi Internet, today I'm going to talk to you about why Tinder doesn't work, or at least why it didn't work for me. So I had moved up to Seattle um, recently and I did not know anybody besides my brother and some family. So I thought, why not use Tinder to meet some uh, lovely ladies uh, and date or even just have a couple friends. Um, because BuzzFeed says it works, and what BuzzFeed says uh, is true. Right? Right? Well, here's my problem with Tinder. Um, it doesn't. Um, after two and a half weeks of using it, I had about four matches, and out of those four, um, I, had con I had solid conversations with about two, but one of the two that I had solid conversations with um, was this piece of steak. And stay with me. Um, the reason I liked this piece of steak was um, because I thought it was funny, and after reading its description, which read, I quote, um, swiping left would be a huge mistake, which is a pun because mistake. Yeah. So, n not my brightest moment, but I laughed, and I thought it would be the end of it. Um, I was wrong. Because the next day, I had gotten a message from Steak saying, are you A1 Steak Sauce? Because I want you on top of me. To which I laughed again! And wrote back, look, I don't care who you are, but what you're doing is great, and you need to keep doing it. To which, again, I thought I would hear nothing from Steak again. I was wrong, because I almost get a message immediately back saying, well, I'm Miss Steak. It's nice to meet you. And I was like, alright, if I'm this far in, I might as well play along. Um, so, I wrote back saying, well, it's a rare meet pump. Uh, occasion to meet somebody like you. Uh, to which she laughed, or they laughed, and uh, I laughed, and you know, I thought it was really dumb. She's like, alright, you passed. Uh, I said, cool. And then I left it. Um, a couple days passed, and I was like, I was having fun, I was laughing. And I'm not getting any other feedback from anyone else on Tinder. So, I wrote back asking another food-related question from a, m a movie, be it, but food-related question, um, to test this person out, to see if they could be cool. Um, so I wrote back, in a fight, who do you think would win, a grilled cheese or a taco? And those of you who are watching that get that, you know it's from Hot Rod. Um, and so I get a reply back a little bit later saying, if it's prison rules, a taco would win. And underneath that, it said, Hot Rod, baby. Which I was like, sweet. Great movie, right? And I'm like, the best movie. So whoever this is, male or female, likes Hot Rod. I like Hot Rod, so they got a pass. Um, and so that goes on, and then I get curious. I was like, all right, steak, I got to know. How do you come up with these puns, and are you just swiping right on everybody to use them? And they wrote back, no. I saw you were a comedian um, on your profile because you make it very obvious. I do. I post a couple pictures of me doing stand-up on there. And so they wrote back, saw you were a comedian, thought you would make me laugh, um, and I did it. And I was like, cool, awesome. Uh, so that was the reason. And now how do you come up with these, uh, these puns? Do you just like look them up online? To which they replied, nope, I've just been doing it for a while and I've come up with a lot. So this person is A, funny, two, thinks I'm funny, and as desperate as I am, and I was like, alright, I gotta know. What's the deal? And they sent me their Snapchat, to which I'm like, alright, I either got a buddy, a creepy person, an ugly girl, or a cute girl. Um, the cute girl being very slim. Um, and so I add them on Snapchat and then I get a snap from them um, and I open it up and it is a cute girl. That's right, the odds and the odds really just like, screw it, he needs this one. Um, and so I wrote, I snapchatted back, 
um, the cow in our family face because there is no steak emoji. And if there's a message I want to get across in this video, it's to Snapchat saying, add a steak emoji because I could have used it at one time and I might have to use it again. Probably not, but other people might need it. And just like, it's not that, like, come on. Or I message whoever runs the, uh, the emoji thing, just get a steak emoji. I mean, you you got cow, but you don't have steak. You got tacos and stuff, and I get like that's the movement, but anyways, sidetrack. Um, and so I don't get anything back. I'm like, alright, that's it. But now I know that it's a cute girl. <laughs> so I'm sitting on that and just thinking, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to ask Steak out. So I wrote, and so I go back onto Tinder and I ask him, like, alright, this is probably the weirdest thing I have ever done and will ever do. Um, I asked Steak out. Um, and I wait a little bit. And she writes back, because now I know it's a definite she. It wasn't just someone just pretending to be Miss Fake, it, it, it's a definite she. Um, and she writes back, I'm not really looking for anything. And to which I'm like, alright, that's fine. I just really wanted to meet the person we had to meet. And that's really the end of it. I mean, I get some Snapchats from her and Snapchat her every once in a while, but it, it's not developing into anything. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's why I don't use Tinder anymore, because the most elaborate conversation I had with any user on it was with a piece of steak. Uh, yeah. So, thank you for listening if you made it this far. Uh, I'm James Drake, and uh, have, have a good one. <laughs>